Let's run through all of the National League scores, and we start with Cincinnati over all, Pittsburgh. All of them. And we're going to end with Cincinnati over Pittsburgh. One NL game, 7-5 the score here. Drew Stubbs went 3-4 for four with a home run. He is hitting a little bit better lately. Well, you know what? It's funny when what uh, Chris Heisey can do for you. He comes up, doesn't play very much, and then every time Heisey's in the lineup, it's like a powder keg goes off and something good happens. So Drew Stubbs is scratching his head. Down. I think I better start hitting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be out of a job. Well, what do you expect going forward? Well, uh, I, I always thought his uh, stretch at the en end of last season with the as many homers as he hit was more than he hit in his minor league se two previous minor league seasons. So I thought his power wasn't going to be um, any greater than 10 to 15. Um, but he did homer. He's got five now, so that's kind of a pace for – 15 to 20. Yeah. Um, that's, a, I think, a high end. But yeah. he needs to get that average up. I think he's like a 275, 280 hitter. But the most important thing is his steals. Aaron Harang, Al, he gets the win. Now, his last six starts, he's gone six innings each time, but never more than six and two-thirds. So it's either six, six and a third, six and two-thirds. He seems to me like a slightly above average pitcher. I don't know how, what you think about him. But. Yeah, I would say actually maybe slightly below average. Okay. Um, you know, and he's he's a guy I've always considered sort of borderline mixed league, but I'd say this year he's he's uh, left the border. He's uh, headed south of the border. So, and you know, if you look at this line, for the most part it's kind of a, a typical game for him. He gave up 8 hits in that 6 and the 3rd. He's been giving up a lot of hits. Um, very high He bait. had been doing better after an awful, awful start, though. Yeah, no, he had. He tur turned it around, and inconsistency s uh, seems to be a part of the deal for him. Uh, but this is a guy where you look at him giving up a lot of hits and a, a lot of hits on balls in play, and it's for him it's not a fluke. He's just getting hit hard, giving up a lot of home runs, a uh, lot of base hits, especially line drive base hits. Only three strikeouts <laughs> in this start. That's the only thing that's sort of <laughs> – That was like a <laughs> cough, and I tried to hold it in. It was awful. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, at least you, you, can ta you can tage yourself there. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not sold on him at all except in, in NL only this year. He's just getting hit too hard. He'll still you know, normally strike out a lot of guys, but when contact's made, look out. And Francisco and Cordero. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was just going to say, too, and, and bear in mind, he did this against the Pirates. <coughs> yeah. Uh, so he, he couldn't really contain one of the weaker lineups in the league. Yeah, but he got the win, though. But he got the win. <laughs> he got a lot of run support. And Francisco Cordero got his 15th save. Is he this good? That's Should we amazing. sell high? He's had some struggles in there, though. He hasn't been all lights out. But he's a guy with a 3-9-1 era. He's a guy yeah. like that, though. He'll pile up, save opportunities, and he'll frustrate the heck out of you with some blown saves and a high era. But no, he's a he's a guy who's not closing for a team that looks like they can contend now. You think so? And I think oh. their pitching is only going to get better when Aroldis Chapman straightens himself out in the minor leagues. This is Aroldis Chapman's story. Walt Jockety says his fast, his fa he's been wild. His fastball command is fine. He needs better command of his other pitches, his secondary pitches, uh, his slider and such. Slider and changeup. Well, there you go. There's your explanation why they don't need him right now. Well, they, they don't need him. That's, yeah, they kind of need him. They don't <laughs> have a fifth starter right now. But to the Matt, American Matt League. Maloney might be their stopgap. Uh, you skipped over Brian Burris. Okay. I wanted to talk Brian Burris, All right. only because he's so bad that Brad Lincoln should be in the Banger Leagues. Okay. Is so that that, it? that's it. Uh, uh, Charlie Morton looked like he has an ERA that's right around uh, nine, but Morton has actually strung together. I think four of his past five starts have been quality starts, even though his ERA is still he's astronomical. He's from like 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah right. He, he gave up some nine-run first innings uh, earlier this season. Um, so Brad Lincoln, if he replaces someone, it looks like it'd be Burris. Burris was – Pretty much just a stopgap anyway. 